I have a dirty little secret, actually a dirty, huge secret. There's something I haven't told you. I own another house. A couple years ago, the kids and I moved an hour away, packed up all our things into our minivan and a small moving truck and left almost everything else behind. And I had already hoarded that house. It was about 3,000 square feet and we really left most everything behind and didn't look back until today <laughs> because now I have to sell the house. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So when the kids and I moved, we left a lot of stuff behind and it probably wasn't the best way for us to do things, but I couldn't handle dealing with all the clutter. And because it was a lot of emotional baggage, I felt overwhelmed by it. And I knew that leaving it behind wasn't the best way to handle it, but I was exhausted and I felt desperate. And in many ways, I felt like we were fleeing, both from things outside the home and things inside the home. And I went to the new house determined to not hoard it as badly and to work on life changes and to have a lot less stuff. The house that I'm sitting in today is about 3,000 square feet. It's a 1950s split level. In addition to the house, square footage also has an enormous two and a half car garage that I also hoarded and is also filled with stuff. And now for a number of different reasons, I have a matter of weeks to get this property on the market. And the house is a hoarder home. And thankfully, it's not what it looks like on TV because I've always known that I had a problem and I've always had supportive friends and family who have done interventions and gotten involved and really come and helped me a lot, but it is a huge amount of stuff to go through. And I struggle with doing what a lot of hoarders do, which they call churn. And that is that I pick stuff up and I move it from one place to another and to another and to another, and nothing actually goes into the garbage and nothing actually goes into the donation unless I work really hard to make myself put the stuff there. So what are a couple of things that I've already done? Well, I've scheduled Purple Heart to come and pick up a big load of donations. And I know they're going to take a lot of stuff, but I have to have the stuff ready for them. And I have about a week to do that. And I'm going to have a big push to make that happen. I also have marked on my calendar all the garbage pickup days. And there's a garbage pickup the day after tomorrow. So I have a big push to get a lot of trash to the curb. Fortunately, this house is in a municipality where they will take pretty much anything as garbage that I put on the curb. Everything from broken appliances to bags of trash to anything I can put into my can. And I feel very, very thankful that any trash I have, I can basically haul it to the curb here. This house does not have the problem with animals. You may remember when a bear got into my trash in the house that I live in now, which is in a rural area. This house is in the Washington DC suburbs. And although they have occasional problems with raccoons and possums, they don't present nearly the problem that the bears do in my new house in my rural location. So I feel very thankful about that. And I can just tell you that I'm really going to need your guys' prayers to be able to get this house cleared out because I have a matter of weeks to clear out the hoard that I spent 13 years accumulating. I've owned this house for 13 years and it shows and I'm going to show you all around and hope that you guys can cheer me on and please let me know how you think I'm doing <laughs> and if you have tips for clearing out a house where you left almost everything behind and Obviously, if we've lived without this stuff for three years, most of it needs to be donated. Amazingly, though, amidst all the trash and donation items are valuables. So one of the things that showed up earlier today was this. This is what it was. Yep. 
the title for my minivan. The car I drive every day. I almost threw it in the garbage. Several other items are missing here in the house somewhere. There are a couple of pieces of very expensive jewelry and almost every other important financial document somewhere in this mess. So please cheer me on and wish me luck. My children were here with me earlier today, helping and working in the house for hours and several other family members were too but I have a lot more work to do. Tomorrow I'll be meeting with a number of different contractors and asking them for their recommendations, including um, some contractors that just deal with cleaning out a hoard and fixing things and painting things so that I can get the house ready for sale. And so that the process doesn't take six months, but it takes something more like one month. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs>